Okay. And then we'll then we'll pick up again. Okay. And then I'll so, you know. And he says, well, "Let's see the back. Let's see the back of the vehicle or whatever." Then okay. I'll say cut. So can we shut the door to start the filming? Because it looks a whole lot nicer. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, most definitely. Open, most definitely. Most definitely. Looks so when yeah, when when uh, Deep makes the, in, the initial, hey, let's go. And then that's when I'll cut, and then the door will be open. Yeah. Then we'll say then. Okay. Perfect. We'll say, now let's take a look at the inside. We'll walk towards the door maybe, and then cut. Yep. Got yeah, because I'm actually I'm gonna shoot this direction right here. Perfect. Because it looks a lot prettier this way. I don't want to see the back end. I'm see the front end. Are we gonna? Is there any? Are we gonna look in here? Yeah, gonna look in here too. Is that the motor? Battery cells. That's missing. Well, we won't be able to see them. Yeah. We won't be able to see them because we have to take it apart. Can we now look in here a second? Yeah. Back or It doesn't matter which way. Oh. All right, let's see. Let me just get the direction of the side. Or? Yeah. That yeah. way. Yeah. Yeah. And part of the operation is the plug and the, and the boot slide. That'll just add a little well, more flavor. Could you show where, where, how you plug it up? I mean, uh, where the plug fits in or something like that. Yeah. Maybe you can yeah. show that. Yeah. Show Do you want to rest it on that sign right. a little bit? Yeah. Right. Right. Okay. Right. Now, from there, you're going to have to move. And then for that B segment, we'll have a charger, and they'll have that fresh in their mind that that's the plug that goes in. All right, what we can do. We'll do the history yep. of the car. This is our location. Okay. A little bit. Okay. Let's okay. we'll just oh, check out God. the inside. Oh, yeah. Okay. And then we'll okay. set you in there. And then we can come back here and we'll do this segment. And then we'll, 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 we'll say, well, let's check out the charging unit. Right. And then we'll go and cut from there. Okay? All right. I think. Uh, All right. Let's make sure the wireless are on. And we're looking at 730, Hans, right? Yeah. Okay. So between 7 and 730. Okay. So if you'll give, if you'll you give me. You want seven? No, just we, give me two minutes. And then give me a minute. Okay. And then we'll take it from there. All right. Okay. Uh, now, I don't have a mic, so I'm going to be, uh, uh, I'll just plug it in and run this. Is that all right? <laughs> okay, that's fine. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. Okay. So you guys. I thought we were going to have that budget cut. Yeah. <laughs> and very relaxed. I mean, lean against this with okay. We don't have to use it if you don't want to. No, I do. Uh, cool. I don't have to. I thought it would be perfect today. I like that. I like that. That is so cool. And what'd you steal that? A client amount of Memphis. His brother's in the Secret Service. He gave me this in the park. So I'm going to kind of open like, you know. I want you to know I have my official. I'll start a close up of you, then I'll pull back to reveal. And then we'll say, oh, yeah, I guess. Um, along and actually, I want to get you. I want to get the vehicle in the front of the city. I mean, get you guys in front of the vehicle, and I want to get the whole vehicle behind you. Oh, before, oh, then, we're by, then we'll walk towards yeah, the end. That's when we're going to do our cuts. And we'll, we'll make this curve. work. Every, every shoot really is shorter. different. It oh. really is. And it's, it's light. Very refreshing. Let me just see here. And we got to get a little tight, you know. Okay. So. Yeah, right here. Okay. Sorry. You got to lean in. See, what, what our goal is is to get the, the, the lights off of them. Man, it's oh, too much wind for this that. thing. Yeah. Well, you, know, you probably can lay a little bit on the front. You know what we can do? What did you do? up against that boat. I always say we scratch it because you, you guys will be fighting that. Oh, are you doing your exercise? I thought that was a JMU yeah, shirt for a second after this go. I've been, been in worse conditions. Oh, no. And what I want to do is now, and then I'll say, oh, you want to start tight on the path first? Or yeah. Yeah, you, know, you can crack a little joke about, you know, you, you being an official, but... I'll, I'll say, be out. I'll be doing an honorary parking enforcement officer for today. There you go. <laughs> like this. Let me, let me hear you talk to you. Go for no, like that. Perfect. Okay. Can you grab your other end? The only thing I want to do is fix this. Yeah, like scouts. Yeah. Sorry, I'll hold it while you tie up. Uh, Remember when he was in town, uh, about what? Seven years ago or so, I worked with him. Yeah, that was a job. <laughs> Real nice guy. No, oh, he's very nice. I just kind of messed up some things. Wait, all right, brother. Dana said she's got some beer in the office if you want to take a break. It's in the back of his car, not mine. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't look bad with the hot spots. It doesn't look bad, guys. Okay, you guys ready? Are we gonna roll? Or is this rehearsed? You can We're rolling. We're gonna roll. Yeah, wait till them. Wait till they the break it down because they're gonna make noise. You might. You might want to wait. You ready? Yeah. Okay, guys, don't break it down, please. Just wait on that. Okay, y'all ready? We're gonna be rolling. Okay, and rolling. Three, two, one.
Hey folks, here we are on Deep and the Geek, and I want you to know I have my official enforcement hat on today. Well, Deep, we're very proud to make you an honorary city of Roanoke parking enforcement officer for today. Boy, that sounds uh, official. <laughs> hey, hey, we're in downtown Roanoke. We've got Dana Long and Damon Hammond right here with the city of Roanoke. We've got something so brand new, it's unbelievable. The electric enforcement ticket car. That's right, Deep. It's, Tell me it's the state of Roanoke. Oh. State of Roanoke. State well, you can say city. I can say state. Oh, I gotta cut this out. I just messed it up. Oh, oh. So we can start over. Okay. 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 That's fine. I'm, I'll look at it. I'm just the people who I know are going to cross this path. I would have done it for you. I'm going to have to ask the whole thing about it. Yeah, okay. Okay. Not a problem. You guys ready? Okay. Ready? And. Right. No, I'll, I'll be ready. And three, two, one. Here we are. On Deet the Geek in downtown city Roanoke, and I want you to know I have my official enforcer hat on right here. That's right, Deet. We're happy to make you honorary parking enforcement officer for the city of Roanoke for today. Well, I tell you, I'm so impressed with that, and we've got something right here on Deet the Geek that is brand new, state of the art, electric enforcement ticket car. Is that about right? That's right. It, it's our brand new all-electric parking enforcement vehicle, and it's the first of its kind to be in, uh, deployed in the entire state of Virginia. So the city of Roanoke is very happy to have it here. So we're the first in Virginia to have it? Yes, sir, we are. I mean, Richmond did get something first. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, normally they get everything. Right here in Southwest Virginia. We're going to be the capital of innovation here. So uh, are there a lot of these around the country, or is this something that's pretty new on the East Coast? It was designed specifically for police work and for parking enforcement work. So it was only after a lot of research and looking that we were able to find this vehicle that would meet all the needs and specifications that we have for parking So how long has this uh, city had? We just had it for a few months. We just started a couple months ago. That's pretty exciting. Uh, so why are we going with the electric vehicle? parking enforcement vehicle, what's going to work and what's going to be. So uh, we got together, we did a little research, yeah. and we found the Firefly. Oh, it's called a Firefly, folks. A firefly. Now, where did we come up with Firefly? Actually, the manufacturer came up with that name. It's kind of interesting. The manufacturer told me that, you know, the Firefly is a very pretty insect. It, it flies around. It doesn't harm anyone. It's very safe for the environment. It is not going to sting you. It's not going to bite you. So they thought it was a very appropriate name for an all-electric vehicle that's so environmentally friendly. It's like a lightning bolt. Yeah. It's like a lightning bug. Like I used to put in the jar as a kid. You got it. I quit doing that last week. And they fly <laughs> so quick. Uh, think about electric vehicles, uh, because it has an electric drive motor, it has what's called immediate torque. So you'll notice when you begin to see it drive here shortly that uh, it would take off very quickly. Oh, okay. Just, uh, that's, and why would you use a, uh, say, a golf cart? Actually, golf carts are not legal to be driven on the streets. You can only oh. drive them on your golf course or some private lot somewhere. Here in Roanoke, you know, if you're going out to Myrtle Beach, they, they oh like man, there's another reason I'm going to sell my golf cart. <laughs> no wonder they looked at me funny going to the 7-Eleven. Uh, well, okay, so there must be, besides the economy, I mean, doesn't admit anything, it's got to be safe. Is it possible? Is it cheaper? Well, actually, buying the Firefly vehicle is about the same price as buying one of the gasoline powered vehicles. Okay. The cost is in about $30,000 range. Okay. But in terms of annual maintenance, the annual maintenance inclusive of the electricity charging cost is about $500 a year for this vehicle. And that's this all? vehicle has, yes, that's, that's all. And all. the vehicle has a useful life of about 10 years compared to five years for the gasoline powered vehicles. The gasoline powered vehicle with uh, maintenance and fuel costs costs the city taxpayers about $3,800. Wow. So, with this one, it's a very enormous cost savings that will pay for itself over time. It's a good business decision. Well, that's a no-brainer right yeah. there. I mean, you got the soft costs. There's no not a lot of downtime because you don't have uh, spark plugs, oil changes, and things of that nature. Didn't think of that uh, either. Basically, you have tires and brakes, so a wiper blade, mm -hmm. and uh, 
And uh, the charge is up. How much time do you get? Do you have to charge it every hour, every two hours, or how's that work? About four to six hours gets you a full charge, depending on what type of charger. We'll, we get, we'll show a charging station that we have okay. uh, that'll actually show a, a increased charging, but uh, very economical, very fast charging. Uh, so it's been a great fit for us. So won't we take a look? Can we look at the inside of this one? Because I may want to get one yeah. of these. You can do everything but drive yeah. this one. Well, well, I can't let me drive tell you one, one more thing I need to be well, sure and tell you. Our officers drive about 7,500 miles a year. Yeah. Wow. And one of the main selling points why we purchase this vehicle is because our officers have to drive about 60 miles a day. Wow. And they have a very wide geographic area that they cover in the city. And we have lots of hills here in beautiful Ronan Valley. So the charge in this vehicle would last us through 60 miles. So we charge it one time a day. It gets us through a day, sometimes two days Man, without charging. Great. Well, let's take a look at the okay. inside, shall we? All right, cut. All right, All right we have exactly two minutes left if we're going to run seven minutes on this segment. Seven and a half would give us two and a half. Are right, you got two and a half?